for not telling my wife about an incident with her best friend. I want to be very sensitive when writing it here, but I have been dealing with unbearable guilt and wanted to know if what I am doing is wrong. I really do not want to trigger anyone, but I will be writing about a very sad situation. I 33M have been married to my wife 31F for six years and we have a three-year-old kid. We are very happy together and I am lucky to be married to a very kind and smart woman. My wife's best friend on a fake name for anonymity has been living with us for the last six months. I wanted to talk about Anna to give a full context of why I am making my decision. Anna is my wife's best friend since school days. Anna was living in the city with her boyfriend, and we live in the suburbs of that city. They seemed happy together and were in relationship for two years. However, my wife noticed bruises on Anna's hand last year and asked her about it. Initially, Anna dismissed it as work-related injuries. My wife kept on probing, and we learned that Anna was in an extremely toxic and abusive relationship. Her boyfriend lost his job last year and became extremely controlling and abusive towards her. He constantly accused her of cheating Anna denies it, made her link her phone messenger to his computer, and started micromanaging finances. There was an incident of domestic violence that was the final straw and my wife, and I had to rush to the hospital to look after Anna. Since Anna's parents are mostly absent from her life, my wife asked me if Anna can stay with us for a few days. We are three people living in a four-bedroom house and have two spare guest rooms. I of course agreed to it and told her that Anna can stay with us as long as she wants. I think the incident completely broke. Anna and she would just start crying randomly and completely shut down. It was really sad to see Anna in that state. She had to leave her job due to mental issues and stayed at home in the room all day. My wife is very kind and took care of Anna like she was family and made sure she felt loved. Anna is also thankful to my wife and I to help her in her worst time and helps around the house and with our kid, though we never leave him alone with Anna. Anna now is coming back to normal, smiles sometimes and has started looking for job again. Now on to the incident. Last Friday my wife and I went to work as normal and dropped our son at daycare. I had a doctor's appointment at noon and came straight home from there as I did not have a lot of work in office. I made some lunch and then went to my room to sit in my bed and reply to all the emails. Anna was in her room and I did not talk to her after I came home. Around 2 p.m., I heard Anna's room door open and her walking in the hallway. Suddenly, our bedroom door opened and Anna walked in topless and just in her underwear. I was shocked and not sure how long I was staring at her. But after a few seconds, I blurted out, I am sorry. And she quickly covered herself. We 